So the end of the year is almost here and you're looking to build a PC for yourself or perhaps a friend or loved one and you're looking for a case with an awesome balance of aesthetics and functionality. Well today I'm here to showcase the CTE C700 series and why that might be the perfect fit for your build. Now the CTE C700 is a full size case coming in at 566.5 millimeters high, 327.6 millimeters wide and 505.5 millimeters long. Now both the Air and the ARGB versions come in black and snow. Now just like the C750, the C700's motherboard is rotated 90 degrees to allow for optimal air circulation within the PC, which means excellent cooling even if you're rocking some pretty hefty hardware. Now speaking of hefty hardware, the C700 shifts your GPU upright and to the back. Now this provides optimal cooling, less airflow obstruction, and provides other benefits like reducing your GPU sag over years of use. Now if you opt for the TG version of the case, it comes with a 4mm tempered glass panel on the front of the case to accompany the 4mm glass on the side. Perfect at displaying all your ARGB and your hardware. Now the case does of course come with three pre-installed ARGB fans, or if you opt for the air version of the case, you'll get three standard fans instead, and you lose out on that tempered glass panel on the front for even further enhancements to your airflow. Now, no matter which you pick, the three CT140 fans can reach a max speed of 1,500 RPM. While the case is essentially a slimmed down CT750, you can still fit in some pretty nutty hardware. Now, the case supports a CPU cooler with a max height of 190 millimeters, a 420 millimeters AIO radiator at the front or rear, a 12 inch by 9.6 inch ATX motherboard, and a standard PS2 PSU with a max length of 220 millimeters. Now for the cooling, you get a lot of options. So you can install up to two 200 millimeter or three 140 millimeter fans at the front. You're also able to install up to two 140 millimeter fans at the top and one 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter fan can be installed at the right side of the chassis. Finally, you can add up to three 140 millimeter fans at the rear and another three 120 millimeter fans along the bottom. Now that's a lot of fans, 12 total to be exact. Now for liquid cooling, you have just as many options. You're able to install a 420 millimeter AIO radiator at the front and rear. You could also fit a radiator up to 360 millimeters at the bottom. Certainly a ton of options, cooling should never be an issue. On top of that, it can support up to seven 3.5 inch hard drives or six 2.5 inch SSDs on the right chamber of the chassis. And that is all I've got for you guys today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below or why not join the Discord? I'll link that down below.